As I've mentioned in my previous videos, this year has been colder than previous years. We had an extended cold season. This has been really disappointing for most of us but has been working very well for these guys, the fungus gnats. I can't tell that I got rid of the fungus gnats completely. In this video, I'll show you what I did to control this problem to some extent. Before getting into the preventative measures, a little bit about fungus gnats. They are these fruit fly-like insects which fly all around us and can be seen indoors and outdoors. They mostly thrive on moist soil. Each adult fungus gnat can lay more than 100 eggs in their life cycle. Adults are not quite harmful for the plants, but the larvae, when it is living in the soil, can feed on the roots of the plants, but the effect is quite small. The most annoying thing about this is it is flying all around indoors and outdoors. When I placed my raised bed on my balcony and filled with soil, the amount of fungus gnat just started exploding because it had access to a lot of moist soil to lay their eggs. One reason why the problem was huge this year is because it was cold during April and May and the soil remained moist for a longer time. Also the plants were sitting in the small pots since February. This then became a paradise for fungus gnat. The first method is to use the technique of bottom watering for seedling pots. When the plants have absorbed enough water, throw away the rest of the water. This will prevent the top soil from remaining moist and will prevent fungus gnats from laying their eggs. The second technique is to cover the top part of the soil with a layer of mulch. If you have been watching my videos for a while, you might know how much I love mulching. Generally, I use straw mulch because I have it with me, but you can use any kind of mulch. This will help to some extent because the fungus gnats do not have access to the top soil to lay their eggs. The best material for mulch to prevent the problem of fungus gnat is sand. They do not absorb water and will dry up quickly. The third and the most satisfying method is to use yellow sticky traps. These yellow stickers have glue on both the sides. The small dark flies will get attracted to the yellow color of these stickers and will stick on it. These are three main techniques I have used till now to control the problem of fungus gnat. There are some other techniques as well to control the problem of fungus gnat like using mosquito bits or nematodes which are predators that feed on the larvae of the fungus gnat and break their life cycle. These methods have been proven to be highly effective but I personally have not tried them. This year I think I'll stick to these three methods but if the problem aggravates I might try other methods as well. I'll definitely share when I try them. Let me know if you have any other tip to prevent or control the problem of fungus gnat. Thank you and see you in another video. Bye and take care.